The one that converts to Islam embraces the folds of this faith because they choose to voluntarily submit and surrender to the will of God in exchange for the ultimate acquisition of peace and contentment in this life and in the hereafter. The one that is converting accepts the Islamic belief that in order to achieve true peace of mind and surety of the heart, one must submit to the ultimate creator, the one true God, and live according to his divinely revealed laws. The one that converts comes to the understanding that no one is worthy of his worship and veneration except the one true creator, the creator of this world and everything it contains. He realizes that the only true purpose of his life is to find God, build a relationship with him, and follow his commandments. The one that is converting comes to the realization that God the Almighty would not leave him or her in the darkness without showing them and guiding them regarding the manner in which he wants them to live. To this end, he, God, chose messengers and prophets throughout history to send to different nations at different times to communicate his message to humanity, to demonstrate how one should live and to teach mankind about himself. In addition, these prophets came with glad tidings, stating that whoever worships the one God without any partners and lives a righteous life while obeying God's commands will enter paradise eternally. And whoever worships anyone other than Allah and does not follow God's commandments will enter the hell eternally. Islam is not a new religion, but rather embodies the eternal act of submitting to the will of God. It is, indeed, the only acceptable religion in the sight of God. Islam is the true natural religion and offers the same message revealed through the ages to all of God's prophets and messengers. The one that is converting realizes that Islam will change his or her life for the better and that Islam will provide the light to guide them in their life as well as grant them true salvation from the eternal hellfire. The one that searches for his purpose in life as well as for his creator and is sincere and curious to learn the truth, that person will eventually be guided to the truth by the will of God and by his mercy, love and justice. God guides whom he wills and whom he pleases. My dear brother or sister, if you have the desire to be Muslim and have a strong conviction and belief that Islam is the true religion of God, then you are ready to embrace the folds of Islam. In Islam, every action begins with one's intention. So one starts by setting the intention in their heart to embrace Islam for the sake of God alone. It's highly recommended that you take a bath or a shower to symbolically purify and cleanse yourself of your past life and your past sins. It's also recommended that you wear good clothes on the day of conversion. Unlike other religions, the act of converting to Islam does not involve any rituals, ceremonials, nor baptisms. All the one has to do is to declare the testimony of faith, which is known as the Shahada in Arabic, or the Declaration of Faith in English, which is the first of five pillars of Islam. These two statements encapsulate all of the beliefs of Islam. Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah wa ashhadu anna Muhammadan abduhu wa rasuluh. I bear witness that there is no deity worthy of worship except Allah, and I bear witness that Muhammad is a servant and messenger. One can simply state this phrase in privacy by himself, or can do so in public with witnesses, especially those who could help them pronounce the wording in Arabic accurately. The testimony of faith is recommended and often done publicly in a mosque or gathering. One testifies, acknowledges, and expresses that he or she is fully convinced with no doubt that there is no deity worthy of worship and veneration other than Allah. Allah is the unique name of God. One acknowledges that there is only one God who is the sustainer, the creator, who is in control of all matters and all things, who has no partners, no children, nor associates. He is the most high, most merciful, all-knowing, all-wise, all-seeing, all-hearing. He is the first, he is the last. One also testifies and acknowledges that Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, is the last and final messenger of God, who was sent to relay the same general message as the prophets before him. He is the best example and role model for humanity, a slave and a worshiper of Allah, and should not be wrongfully worshipped like past prophets, who are only human messengers of God and not God himself. 
after one completes his testimony of faith, that individual is now officially Muslim. As a Muslim convert, one does not need to be burdened by his or her past sins committed before their acceptance, as all of their past sins will be absolved, and they will start with a clean slate, as free of sin as a newborn child. Not only that, but all of their past sins will be converted to good deeds. One should attempt to the best of his ability to keep his slate clean as much as possible and do as many good deeds as he or she can. The new convert should make a lot of supplications to God, asking him to continue to guide him or her to the straight path and lead him or her to paradise and everything else they desire in this world and beyond. After the conversion process, comes the time to start gradually learning more about Islam and practicing it by performing the five mandatory ritualized prayers that Muslims perform daily. A new convert should not try to learn all aspects of the faith at once, as they may end up feeling overwhelmed. Instead, one should continue to learn and grow his faith over an extended time period. It's highly recommended that the convert finds a local mosque or a local Islamic community and attend gatherings, seek Muslim support, and make new friends. One should also start to give charity and fast in the month of Ramadan, both of which are mandatory upon every Muslim. For people still unsure as to whether or not they should convert to Islam, they can pray to God without specifically naming Him. Just pray out and say, Oh, you who created me, please guide me to the truth. Also, continue to research and look further at the overwhelming evidence and proofs that Islam offers to affirm its existence and validity. Do not procrastinate and do not take this matter of faith lightly, as you are not guaranteed tomorrow. Your test, your life, can end at any moment. Realize, my brother or sister, that you did not come to this video by random or by chance. You were guided here by your Creator. May your journey to the answer and to the truth be pleasant and successful. Our Prophet narrated, whoever guides another to a good deed will get a reward similar to the one who performs it. So please like, subscribe, and share this video. Assalamu alaikum.